This is a summary for all the important concepts from the first part of IGCSE chemistry. Let's start with the concept of atoms. Atoms are made of three subatomic particles. First are protons, which determine the position of the element in the periodic table. Second is neutrons, which vary among different isotopes. Note that protons and neutrons determine the atomic mass. Electrons determine the chemical properties of the atom. Oxidation is when electrons are lost, while reduction is the gain of electrons. Let's now move to chemical bonding. Atoms bind to achieve stability by completing their outer shells. Covalent bonds form when nonmetals bind to one another. Covalent bonds involve of sharing of electrons. There are two types of covalent molecules, simple and giant. Simple covalent molecules tend to have low boiling points due to weak intermolecular forces of attraction. They are poor electrical conductors due to the lack of mobile electrons. There are two main forms of giant covalent molecules. First, it's diamond, which is tetrahedral. Second is graphite, which forms hexagonal layers. Both diamond and graphite have high melting points due to strong covalent bonds. Diamond is a poor conductor due to the lack of electrons. Diamond is hard due to the strong covalent bonds. Graphite is a good electrical conductor due to the presence of mobile electrons. Unlike diamond, graphite is brittle because the hexagonal layers can slide past one another. Metals conduct electricity in all forms due to the presence of mobile electrons. Metals are malleable because the cation layers can slide past one another. Ionic bonds occur between metals and nonmetals. Ionic compounds only conduct electricity when molten or dissolved in water. Unlike metals, ionic compounds are brittle because ions of the same charge would repel when a force is applied. Both metals and ionic compounds are of high melting point due to the strong electrostatic force of attractions. These force of attraction occur between cations and mobile electrons in metals and occur between cations and anions in ionic compounds. 